In recognition of Railcorp's duty of care to its employees, contractors, customers and the community, the organisation is compelled by law to randomly test for drugs and alcohol any employee, contractor or consultant involved in rail safety work. If your work involves safety and risk management, this video has a very important message for you. This means that if your work involves rail safety, you could be tested for drugs or alcohol at any time, while you're at work or on your way to work. The test is mandatory and it's against the law to refuse it. Basically, random drug and alcohol testing in the workplace is similar to random alcohol testing on our roads. It's compulsory and the penalties can be severe if you refuse the test or test positive. Railcorp has a zero tolerance towards the misuse of drugs and alcohol. In fact, the maximum level of alcohol permitted in your bloodstream while you're at work must be under 0.02%, well below that permitted for driving on the road. In other words, the level is effectively zero, and that applies to drugs as well. Because Railcorp's drug and alcohol testing program is random, you won't receive any notice of a test. That means you should come to work assuming you're going to be tested. Thousands of tests for drugs and alcohol will be conducted every year. If you're tested and have been misusing drugs or alcohol, they will be detected. OK, what drugs are we talking about? Opiates such as heroin, cannabis or marijuana, cocaine, substances such as speed, ecstasy, and other so-called pills or party drugs, benzodiazepines, which are sedatives, and even some prescription drugs if they are misused. From time to time, many of us need to use over-the-counter pharmaceuticals or prescription medications. Used as directed, many of these drugs may not affect the way we work. However, some can. And you need to discuss any side effects with your doctor or pharmacist. You'll also need to let your supervisor know if your doctor or pharmacist has advised that the medication you're taking could affect your ability to work. This information will be treated as confidential. Railcorp cares about all its employees. The organisation is prepared to help any employee who has a problem with drugs or alcohol. If you need assistance, you should talk to your manager, Railcorp's human resources manager or safety coordinator now. Your privacy will be respected and consultations are confidential. Employees needing help with drug or alcohol related problems and who self-identify receive practical support and are assisted back to work after attending treatment programs. OK, what happens if you're selected to be randomly drug tested? You'll have to take a few minutes out of your work schedule to undertake the test. You won't be asked to take a test during a break. The test could happen at any time and you won't receive any advance notice. Remember, any employee whose work involves rail safety could be selected anywhere and at any time during or immediately before their shift, before signing off and even during training. An accredited testing officer employed by or contracted to Railcorp will conduct the test. You will be shown proof of the officer's identity and asked to accompany the officer to a location set up for random drug testing. The drug test is conducted according to required Australian standards and your privacy must be respected. Before the test, you must tell the testing officer if you are taking any prescription or non-prescription medications. After verifying your identity, the testing officer will then ask you to provide a urine sample. Precautions are taken to ensure the sample cannot be diluted or contaminated. The sample will be divided into a number of containers. These are sealed, marked for identification, signed by you and sent to a laboratory for testing. One portion won't be tested but will be held by the laboratory for 12 months as a backup sample in case the results of a test are disputed. The testing officer will record your name and employee number and give you a test reference number. 
The laboratory analysing your test will know you only by that number, not by your name, ensuring that the test is both fair and anonymous. At the lab, if your urine sample indicates the presence of drugs, a second test is conducted to confirm the results. A positive test result will be referred to an independent medical advisor to consider whether the use of a prescription or over-the-counter medicine may have contributed to the positive result. Any person whose positive result is confirmed by the independent medical advisor will be removed from rail safety work, found suitable alternate duties and paid at the base rate. Rail Corp's Workplace Conduct Unit will investigate the allegation that the person tested positive to the presence of a drug. This will also happen if the person has tested positive in a random alcohol test. The investigation will examine all the circumstances of the case, take expert advice and give the investigated person ample opportunity to respond. Everyone who works for Rail Corp, as employees, contractors or consultants, has a duty to take reasonable care for the health and safety of all people who may be affected by their decisions. That duty also includes not being under the influence of drugs and alcohol while at work. Remember, talk to your manager, human resources manager or safety coordinator if you think you have a problem with drugs or alcohol. It could be the most important call you'll ever make. Thank you for watching. Here are some other contacts which may be of help to you if you have a drug or alcohol related problem.